Nabaste banze kumfasha ibaze muri ubwo burwayi nta numwe udafite se si bimuga nta nuwangure amazi ya 500 Afias ego this woman's health condition was at stake she was constantly losing weight and everything was changing from this look to this she had lost hope and thought committing suicide was the only remedy Njewe natekereje kwiyahura nagize ijwi ringaniriza Due to how ill she was, doctors told her of the day she would die. Her burial ceremony was prepared. But today, everything changed. She is no longer bed-bound. She recovered, looks more beautiful and confident than last time. Right now, no one believes she is the same person. We visit her again and she tells us more of her painful life. This is her story. Nitwa Mwezi Letizia, nkaba ndumu mama w'abana bane. I lived a normal life, but one day a neighbor impregnated me and left me struggling alone. Yet I was an orphan with no siblings, and those who took care of me never thought twice. They rather just me away immediately. She was left homeless and hopeless, wandering on streets. And after nine months, she gave birth, making life way more complicated. She looked for jobs and luckily got one as a waitress, where she ended up collecting some capital and looked forward to starting her own business. Nagira kucuruza imyenda. Imyenda aho namwe murayizira homba. Mhm. Uyu munsi ubugurishije ejo no gurishe nejo bundi ni kuriya bwa bufaranga. Her business collapsed. She decided to look for other ways to survive, hustling however much she can. Met men who promised to change her life, but met her pregnant and left. And that is how she became a mother of four with different fathers. As a single mother with a never give up attitude, she was committed and focused working for her children. But then, life had an unwanted surprise. Sickness. <laughs> She ran out of money for treatment, got ill and then died. Though it's hard for anyone to accept the fact that she breathed her last, but somehow managed to return to the world of the living. <coughs> it was difficult. I had lungs, which was treated, a diabetes and then a heart attack. Though she was sent back home after failing to get enough treatment, she says what she saw at the hospital was heartbreaking. Every day, one person died, which left her mentally disturbed. But grateful that at least she survived. What made my health condition worse is that during my treatment, doctors made a mistake and gave me wrong prescriptions. Hence, taking the wrong medicine and the health condition getting far from better. At some point, I wished that maybe dying would be a decent idea, but realized I have children to take care of. That was the last time we visited her. She was ill. The whole body was weak, and there is nothing she could do. She had lost hope that without treatment, she was likely going to die. She was requesting money for her treatment and more for them to survive. And after three years, we have returned back to this woman to see how far she has gone. Na vuga ko na abandu mu mama wirwa nyeho ni mani kachi jichira na mga Freemax TV mu kachi jichira. After the visit you made, I was able to go to the hospital. Some people sent me the support. I spent a week in coma. I was in too much pain, but God protected me and I came back to life. Na njishu nga na kunyaki ni nukwara munuara. Nganandagendandamubura,mbaho,babazacane,iyo muvutswa kubera imibereho narindimo icyo kintu rero 
Among the first wish she had before was one of her children who was taken away by the father, and she never knew where the baby was taken, since she met many men who pretended as if they would help her but ended up leaving her pregnant. And after producing that one, one came and took the baby. Despite the difficulties she went through, this mother thanks Afrimax for the advocacy and adds that his children came clutch. They gave it all, tried and saved her as they were ready to do each and everything, from lifting her as a baby to washing, feeding her and many more. Her children were also going to schools and needed money for school fees and other materials. But God made a way. They got sponsors and they're now learning. Many are in the high schools and the firstborn is in college and soon graduating making her proud. None of her husbands ever gave her a helping hand, yet they were able. They had all it takes, but never cared. They let her almost die when she needed them the most. Ramgera to you, Imana was sent the charge. Would you hurry, Senga? Would ye umwe no curry, umon who are ye hurry a cavamo? Could you have got Mumiakita to Hamutura or Muridi oxygen? Usibio. Having returned back to life, it's not by doctor's will, but rather God's will. At some point, doctors also wrote me off and told my kids that I'm about to die. My sister organized a burial ceremony, yet I was yet to die, but looked as if it was a matter of time before I leave this earth. But thank God, a miracle happened and I started recovering. Keeping in mind that only God is the one who made this possible, she can't go a day without praying. And before she leaves her bedroom, she has to read the Bible, listen to what God says and prays, asking God to bless her day. Today, she's strong, physically, mentally, and psychologically. She regained her weight as she had terribly lost weight from 100 kilos to 28 kilos. That was unimaginable weight loss. However, things changed. She's healthy, beautiful, and taking care of herself. <laughs> Even doctors could not believe how I came back to life. For dying was the next possible thing. Right now, some people can't just believe that I'm the same person whom they all wrote off, thinking it was my last days. She's now a happy person, grateful for what has happened so far. Blessings keep coming, as there is a person who gave her a plot of land. With enough money, she can build her own and live a life free of rent. <laughs> She again thanks Afrimax and anyone that keeps supporting her life. However, adds that being unemployed hinders her personal development. With some capital, she can start a small business and improve her standards of living. 
maze gufata imbaraga mbonye icyo nakora nakora herurumva no kuri ndashima imana nkashimira Freemax TV mwampaye ubufasha bukomeye ariko nubundi ubufasha ndacyabukeneye you can help this mother of four to raise capital by donating on the giving life's link phone in description and pinned in top comments nothing is permanent Everything goes through a cycle of birth, growth, decay and death. In our personal lives, relationships, feeling and circumstances are also subject to change. Overall, the concept of impermanence is a fundamental aspect of life and can serve as a reminder to appreciate and make the most of the present moment, as well as to adapt and embrace change when it inevitably comes. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.